This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control, T-minus 3 hours, 21 minutes, 26 seconds and counting. We're on time as far as our count is concerned for Apollo 12. The prime crew for the mission, astronauts Pete Conrad, Dick Gordon, and Alan Bean, finishing up their suit checks in the suit room at nearby their crew quarters here at the Kennedy Space Center. We expect them to be departing from the crew quarters about 10 minutes from this time to start a trip of about 9 miles that will wind up on the 320-foot level at Complex 39, the location of their Apollo 12 spacecraft. Astronaut Al Warden, the backup command module pilot, is in the Apollo 12 spacecraft at this time, busy with preliminary work and preparations, checking out the various switches in preparation for the arrival of the flight crew. We are go at 3 hours, 20 minutes, 37 seconds, and counting. This is launch control. This is Apollo Saturn launch control at 58 minutes, 56 seconds, and counting. We're into the last hour of the Apollo 12 countdown, and with the exception of that weather front, front that we're keeping a close eye on, all still going well with the countdown. The crew at the 320-foot level is uh, ready to uh, depart from the White Room on call. They've performed all their final checks. In the meantime, here in the firing room, we've completed some of the launch vehicle final telemetry checks, and uh, astronaut Pete Conrad, still working with spacecraft test conductor Skip Chauvin, on the final guidance and control checks. These are final refinements of the instrumentation used for that stabilization and control system and the guidance and navigation system that is vital uh, during the time of flight that the astronauts are in space and, of course, in lunar orbit. Our testing is going well. Uh, we understand that the rain line on this uh, weather front is probably about eight miles west of us, and we're just going to keep a close eye on it as the countdown proceeds. Our countdown still proceeding. We're still aiming toward 11.22 a.m., keeping a close eye over our shoulder to the northwest for that weather front to see whether it will have any effect on our launch attempt here at the open, uh, opening of the window. We're now at T-minus 57 minutes, 22 seconds and counting. This is launch control. This is Apollo Saturn launch control. We've just passed the 30-minute mark in our countdown. We're now at T-minus 29 minutes, 54 seconds and counting. The countdown for Apollo 12 still going at this time. Project officials are still keeping a close eye on this weather front that has moved into the area more rapidly than anticipated earlier this morning. The weather front actually speeded up a little later in the morning. A determination has been made to continue this countdown at least down to the 10-minute mark in the count. T-minus 28 minutes, 25 seconds and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We've just passed the 9-minute mark in our countdown. T-minus 8 minutes, 54 seconds and counting. Right at this point, astronaut Tom Stafford here in the firing room is talking with Pete Conrad, bringing him up to date on the weather conditions. But Pete Conrad has just reported back, sounds good to him. Spacecraft test conductor Skip Chauvin now performing his status checks with the personnel in the spacecraft control room. All report go at this time. The spacecraft ready light should be coming up shortly. We are still go at this time, 7 minutes, 30 seconds and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control. T-minus 60 seconds and counting, T-minus 60. Alan Bean running up the volume on his VHF. 50 seconds and counting, 50. We've now gone internal power with the launch vehicle. We're on the internal batteries in the three stages of the Saturn V. T-minus 40 seconds and counting. The spacecraft commander now performing his final function, pressing a button to align the guidance and control system of the spacecraft. Mark, T-minus 30 seconds and counting, T-minus 30. 17 seconds, swing arm back. We have guidance internal. 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engines running, commit liftoff. We have liftoff, 11.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Pete Conrad reports that your program is in. Clear. 
Arabia's really going. Pete. Pete Conrad reporting the roll and pitch, programmed to put Apollo 12 on the proper course. Altitude at one half mile. Roll's complete. Roger, Pete. 40 seconds. Mark 1 Bravo. Altitude a mile and a half now. Velocity 1,592 feet per second. Oh, you've got your GDC. Okay, we just lost the platform, gang. I don't know what happened here. We had everything in the world drop out. Roger. Fuel cell lights and AC bus light. Fuel cell disconnect. AC bus overload one and two. Main bus A and B out. Apollo 12 Houston, try SCE to auxiliary over. NCE to auxiliary. SCE, SCE to auxiliary. Ecom reports the readings back. Mark 1 Charlie. 1 Charlie. Flight Director Jerry Griffin taking a staging status now. Apollo 12 down ran, range 17 miles, altitude 20 miles. Gang. Apollo 12 Houston, try to reset your fuel cells now. Inboard engine out on schedule. Altitude 33 miles, down range 45 miles. Got a good S2, gang. Roger, we copy, Pete. You're looking good. Good staging and good thrust on the second stage. We now our problems here. I don't know what happened. Uh, I'm not sure we can get hit by lightning. Your thrust is looking good, Pete. Okay, I have a good GDC, and Al has got the fuel cells back on, and we'll be working on our AC buses. Right, Pete. Your uh, fuel cells look good down here. I think we need to do a little more all-weather testing. Amen.